It's quite busy here. think a bit more but I am um, kind of early in the morning so I'm like uh... <laughs> to become an ultimate Parisian you 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 need to move uh, to Paris at some point. I born in Tokyo and at 12 I moved with my mother to Paris. I know but my is like Parisian is more yeah. Parisian than me. Paris right now is my playground. I was really into the music and I was not speaking French. So um, I spent a lot of time in the record store actually. The old guy, he just tell you, yeah, yeah, go over there and listen, you know? So I had my headphones all day long. He was like uh, coming also to my store, which was like in really, really central Paris. And he was like uh, into skate. And I saw some cool guys doing skater. And you know, when you're a teenager, you just want to look cool. I was not serious at all. It was more like to get fun. I was sensible for the styling and uh, all this fashion attitude all around, you know, the indie rock and punk and all. <laughs> Some of my customers were, um, or uh, end up to be my friend, were like uh, Thomas Bangalter and Gimmanuel de Christophe from Daft Punk. And I ended up to live with Gimmanuel. And I was around and I, I, and I have been like to be their assistant like during a long, a long time. That when we were doing this trip in Japan with Daft Punk, I bring Masaya with us and we needed someone which kind of understand a bit style also, which was uh, an important thing. So, yeah, that's in Japan that Masaya and I decided that it was like, something to do, creative and involving like music, like image and, and also uh, clothing. Actually, it's um, pretty simple. It's about the clothes for every day with good quality. And it's about timeless pieces. I, I'm always watching like the 50, 60s of US East Coast, a bit bourgeois about when you watch the big great pictures of about Southampton, like there's a film called Great Gatsby, you know, with uh, Mia Farrow, or simply, you know, about Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> All those women are really my influence, you know, and men are more like Steve McQueen or Matteo Matruniani. <laughs> Kitsune, it's a fox in Japanese. Often you can see some temple with a um, big fox, you know, in entrance like a guardian. It's kind of old school tale my mom told me a long time ago. They have the magic, you know, they transform themselves to protect the monks and the temple. Uh, such a beautiful creature, have a different faces, you know, and as with um, my partner Jida, we won't have music label and the fashion brand. We used to do DJ together and um, I designed as well some furniture. Uh, so uh, the company, you know, Maison Kitsune has different phases, different, you know, activities. There's many, many like uh, many places like where like you can have like 30 to 50 people and there is like a DJ playing kind of cool stuff. So that's a bit like what the Paris Gian scene is like. In this restaurant La Fidelité, they got like uh, this, this club under which is uh, which they're having like DJ like now every night and um, but I'm not sure it's like a legal club that much. <laughs> Our music label is based in Paris but it is only this year that we start to release French music, so um, so that's maybe also what makes us like really Parisian is like being like snobbish enough to not even like releasing like Parisian music, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>